Hello, my name is Sunil Amea, and I am the Senior Product Manager managing the InfoBlocks Community website. And I'd like to welcome our special guest, Bob Rose. He's a Principal Product Marketing Manager for DDI and Value Added Services. And Bob is going to be doing a webinar on our new NIOS release, 8.6.3. Bob, thanks for joining us. Take it away. Sunil, thank you so much. It's always great to uh, uh, be with our community. Um, Hey, everybody. Um, lots of exciting things to talk about. Um, the focus today is going to be on what's new in NIOS 863. And we're really focusing on visibility automation and control for hybrid multi-cloud networks. So let's just jump right to it, Sunil. Um, today, we're going to talk about some of the key themes that we have with NIOS and the value along with some select new features. This is very robust, lots of great stuff to share with you. Can't cover it all in this brief video, but um, the idea will be to give you some highlights and then um, we can dig into more as uh, time allows um, after after the video. Of course, um, some resources that are going to be made available and then of course, next steps. Um, I'd like to... Uh, jump in first, Sunil, um, you know, themes and value are always what characterize InfoBlox. And um, one of the wonderful things about NIOS is that it continues with continuity from things that we have been developing as, as some key themes and key values. So expanded workplace modernization really focuses on hybrid multi-cloud integrations and automation, which are what a lot of customers are needing to deal with today. Perhaps they're shifting from legacy to hybrid, you know, private hybrid environments or even public or perhaps even multi-cloud environments. So it's really important that we have capabilities built around that. In addition to that, folks absolutely need to make sure that their environments are going to be up and available and running highly performing and resilient and reliable so that they can trust that their customers, their stakeholders can get the most out of what they're offering. And so we have not only core enhancements, but we have some value added enhancements as well as some outstandingly good plugins that will help customers maximize value. And at the end of the day, it's like I mentioned, visibility automation and control for hybrid multi-cloud networks. Does that make sense? It does, Bob. Yeah, no, that sounds great. Uh, go ahead and go to the next slide. So, um, you know, this is a bit of an eye chart, right? Because you look at it and you go, wow, there's a lot. And it is, there's a lot. Um, our, our product engineering team um, and our product management team have been working the world over to get features um, requests from our existing customers and to anticipate market trends so that we can bring to you the best uh, overall, most reliable core network, critical network services. So what you'll see in this slide is um, really the expanded workplace modernization. Um, and that focus is really in public multi-cloud. We've done a lot of work in AWS in particular, but also Azure. And then there's some concurrency updates. You know, we work closely with VMware and Nutanix. And so when they rev, we need to rev to make sure that we're aligned with them. Um, another area, Sunil, is um, the core and the value add. And so we have some nice updates here as well, and I'll get into those in just a moment. And then the value add as well. Um, uh, some really big announcements coming there. Uh, we'll talk about Microsoft Server 2022 support. And then as we look at um, uh, Blocks Connect, there's um, some enhancements there uh, that we want to share. And then ultimately, when we look at the integrations and the plugin, a lot of folks are using a Terraform um, infrastructure as cloud IAC, and we have some enhancements to IPAM there. So again, there's a lot more that we could talk about. These are just a few select enhancements. I think you'll um, be pleasantly surprised at, in terms of what we have uh, in this lineup. Yeah, thanks a lot, Bob. We just wanted to do a, an overview of some of the highlights for the community. Yeah, exactly. So let's uh, go ahead and jump into that. Um, so with regard to public cloud, one of the big exciting announcements we're really excited about here is Network Insight Appliances in AWS and Azure. Um, what does this do? Well, it really gives you the opportunity to deploy Network Insight in AWS and Azure public clouds. And, and why that's important is that it helps organizations, especially if you have a cloud-first initiative, 
or if you're trying to reduce uh, the footprint of your physical data center and you want to put more instances up in the cloud, um, or perhaps uh, you want to extend discovery deployment options, uh, again, this gives you the flexibility to do that. So that's that's very important. Another one that's um, that we have, um, Sunil, is this uh, AWS R6 instance um, support. What does that mean? Well, instant types are really a combination of CPUs and memory and storage and capacity in AWS's Elastic Compute Cloud. And that's important because it meets organizational um, high uh, memory application needs. And so the broader opportunity that you have, the more capability that you have there, um, it gives more flexibility to organizations. And what we're doing is we're just extending um, NIOS, vNIOS support from what we had before, which was AWS R4. Now we're supporting R6 instances. And so it gives you the chance to run a broader range of workloads. Um, it helps to maintain concurrency with what AWS is running. And it makes it a lot more efficient and, and higher performing especially from the perspective of saving cost and time and, and really lower your overall cost of ownership. Another one that's really important here is um, AWS Route 53 Sync. So everyone knows that um, Route 53 is the DNS service on uh, AWS. And so what we've done with this is it gives you the ability to sync Route 53 zones into NIOS and to really sync AWS instances across multiple accounts. Now, why is that important? Well, it really eliminates the, the multiple sets of credentials and having to go in and create sync jobs for each individual account. Now you can do it across the board. So it saves you uh, time and money, which is really important. Those AWS usage fees can get kind of spendy and especially improving the user experience, simplifying security as well, because now instead of having to do individual uh, sets of credentials, now you can just manage um, an entire block. And so again, syncing Route 53 for multiple accounts. These are just some of the things that we're doing, Sunil, for public multi-cloud. There's so much more. We have a lot more enhancements as well in AWS, but these are just a few of the highlights. Yeah, that sounds great, Bob. And I know that uh, we now support transactions through the AWS marketplace, which uh, makes for fast, easy transactions. Yeah, great call out for sure. Well, if we look a little bit more into core, um, this, um, this enhancement, this group reconnect for a grid manager candidates. Um, you know, look, from time to time, everybody's going to have to restart, right? And so what this does is it gives uh, an, a network administrator the ability to actually promote um, distributed grid members, so appliances across the grid, and prioritize the grid for reconnection. So in other words, you can pick which order you want, and you can verify the connectivity before you do that so that you can avoid service outages. Nobody wants service outages. So this gives more control and better reliability for um, folks that are, are having to manage these processes. And it really helps overall to ensure that an organization is gonna have better uptime and business continuity. So this is a really important one uh, our customers have been asking for. And voila, look at that. That's uh, Microsoft Server 2022. For those of you that have Microsoft management for 2019, 2019 was the last time that we had updated this. And now 2022 uh, came out in August, actually, of 2021. And now we are supporting that concurrency. A lot of Infoblox competitors have just dropped support altogether, Sunil, for uh, Microsoft, but we continue to manage this overlay and provide an upgrade path that so that customers that have Microsoft management today can continue. Why is this important? Well, it improves overall efficiency and user experience, especially from the standpoint that we give Infoblox um, enterprise type visibility to solve IP conflicts and to make sure that we're properly managing DHCP availability 
and avoiding network outages. And with Infoblox and with this Microsoft management overlay, that is very, very um, powerful. We've been um, actively developing this and uh, uh, just great to be able to bring it to our customers uh, with NIOS 863. Yeah, that sounds great, Bob, good. And then uh, Blocks Connect is another one. So this is um, basically, um, you know, we've always said, Sunil, if you can't see it, you can't manage it. And and what we want to do as Infoblox is to ensure that our customers have the best overall experience with our solutions. And so what this does is it actually updates the UI and it ensures regular data sync and full data av availability and visibility actually within support bundles. So what this means is, is that um, both the Infoblox support team and a customer can look into their environment and see uh, visibility into features and license usage so that they can know exactly what's going on. Now you have two teams that can see the same amount of information. And this really enhances customer support and issue remediation. And again, supporting this whole overall story of business continuity. Yeah, BlocksConnect is a great feature. Um, makes uh, support calls go quicker because support already has a lot of customer data already. Yeah, exactly right. And then where would we be, Sunil, without, of course, having some of our um, plugins? And so this one is the uh, Terraform Infrastructure as Code plugin. And, and Infoblox has supported Terraform in the past. Um, this basically imports existing infrastructure and NIOS objects. So these would be things like your network, your network view, your network container, A, quad A, um, and various types of other records, our, our C name, our host records, et cetera, uh, PTR records. And, and so that allows us to bring all of that into a Terraform environment. And then, of course, um, we are able to see what kind of data sources there are available, not only for all of those records that I just mentioned, but also for IPv4 and IPv6. And so overall, what does this mean? That's a, that's a lot of language there, but, but if we were to just make sure that people understand this, this simplifies your user experience and really from an efficiency and control perspective, it gives you the ability to import NIOS objects and also to see data sources uh, so that you can improve your automation. So again, um, some really helpful, valuable things. And again, we have more um, integrations in this release, especially with um, uh, Ansible and some WAPI, Go WAPI uh, related integrations, uh, Kubernetes as well. So other great stuff, we just wanted to highlight this one. So um, lots of resources, uh, Sunil, that are coming out to support. We have case studies, we have data sheets, we have the partner update, we have the, a press release that's uh, planned to go out as well as a release notes um, as well for folks. And um, uh, we have some information if, if you want to get um, insight um, from your selling teams um, as to what it is, they can walk you through that. So lots of resources there. And then we also have um, some more. We have lots of solution notes. You've seen all of the integrations that Infoblox has. And so um, all of those will be posted on infoblox.com. We also have some blogs that are out there on uh, Microsoft 2022, as well as some business continuity and purpose-built DNS blogs. And then of course, there's a, a video and uh, again, this community webinar will be posted as well. Um, and, and most importantly, we have the NIOS um, landing page. So it's a, kind of a one-stop place you can go to get all of the information that you need. So Sunil, just to, by way of wrap up, um, you know, how do customers learn more about this? Well, you can certainly contact your partner or your account teams. You can go on to infoblox.com and look at the NIOS 8.x Modernize Your Enterprise a landing page. And of course, we have the ability um, to look up resources and get whatever information you need, along with even starting a free trial uh, to check it out. So um, Sunil, that's a pretty much a, just a quick 15-minute uh, overview of what we've got coming with NIOS 863. Perfect, Bob. That's exactly what I was looking for. Just wanted to give some of the highlights to the community. Thanks again for uh, taking the time. 
Well, Sunil, thanks so much. Uh, really appreciate it. We're really excited um, for this release and looking forward to engaging with customers to help them solve their uh, hybrid multi-cloud uh, and network uh, environment challenges. Thanks so much, Sunil. Thanks, Bob, and thanks for all of you for watching the webinar.